everybody. Hey, it's me, Liam. We're playing Pokemon Snap as, as, not as always, but as usual. Do I usually play Pokemon Snap? I guess I do. It's good. Whatever it is, we like it. Okay, so I forget where we were. Oh, uh, we found a new Illumina spot in Yonder Caves, but uh, I don't think I quite want to do that yet. I think we're going to find somewhere else to go shoot a few snappers. Maybe elsewhere in this forest. Let's try it out. It looks as though there are locations in this forest that we haven't found quite yet. So, let's see if we can get hooked up with those. Okay, okay, okay. What's that, Pokemon? The marker kind of looks like a Rotom with the blue and the orange. Little theme. But who knows? I don't know who we have slash don't have shots of at this point. But we're just gonna try to, as they say, snap them all. Who are you? Who's making that noise? That's oh, the silly. Silly psychic cat. It's like it wants us to know it's psychic. Good old Cackleon. Cackleon doesn't seem to care much about music. That's okay. Can't all be fans. Let's see a lot here that I haven't already gotten photos of in the past. Good old Esper, you weirdo. I don't really recall either what I'm missing from my, uh, my dude. Oh, they're flying away. Do they really not like music that much. What's in there? I demand to know. So far this has been an absolute trash photography session. I don't know that I've taken one good photo yet. What about this autumnal saws book? What about this bird in pain? Pain bird. That was a good one. What's up, dearly? Dearly departed. Here we got here today. I definitely haven't gotten a good one of them yet. There you go, jeez. What's up, buddy? My aim can be pretty suspicious at times. Saw's book. What is up, my dude? Is this Trevenant dead? There's a lot of Pokemon hanging around over here. <laughs> Sawsbug booty. I mean, it's a pretty dull photo, but I think it's about as close as I'm gonna get to one of those. Is that the dearly going on about how it wanted to see the uh did these ever come down? No, not really. They just keep going. The character's got quite a throw on him, eh? That's funny. I 
Maybe this is my Esper time. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> yeah, because I remember before there was that sequence with the uh, the deer elite that you get attract. Using the uh, using the flowers. Pancham, talk to me. Do you like apple? Yes, you do. All right, well, I guess we're a photo f uh, film. I don't know that any of those were good. How was it? Be quite real here. Well, we'll take a look. Maybe there's a couple snaps that'll fit into a niche that we don't have already filled. It's a pretty bad photo, I gotta say. We'll try that one. It's our old one star. So she's not so bad. We'll try that one. There's more Pokemon in the background. Cacleon. I don't know, bud. We're trying. We're doing our best. We don't have any two stars yet. Oh, look at the silly buddy. I think the four is going to do better for me here. I think that's that's what we're working with. Our current current two star, I think we're not gonna beat. The one star we might get though. Yeah. I mean it looks pretty much identical to my existing one star, but or to my existing two star, but hey, whatever. You gotta start somewhere in life. Three stars, eh? Oh, I guess they were just beginning to run away, right? I startled them with music, I think. Hey, Lynn, how's it going? Also, it's a Pokemon. The uh, you you got Pokemon tournament. You wanna you wanna mess? You wanna throw down some matches of Pokemon with me? Is that what you're saying? Now this is the one with the photos. This is this is Photo Pokemon 2. I think the game's called. I think the game's called Photo Pokemon 2. All my Surviper pictures from before were total trash. This looks pretty good though. How you doing, Lynn? Are you killing it? You don't know what Pokemon Tournament is? It's a it's a Pokemon fighting game. It was made by uh Namco Bandai. It's a lot like Tekken, but for Pokemon. If you know how to play Tekken, Pokemon Tournament will be familiar to you. One Star Sars book. Has a good life treating you. Today's the first of June, right? That's pretty magical. Were you uh, visited by the, the friendly spirits of June? SMT3, Super Mario uh, Tomato 3. Is that what that stands for? What does uh, SMT3 stand for? Smash m Melee Tricycle. Um, slightly modest Thomas Shin Megami Tensei oh okay yeah yeah that's uh I have I had one of those games like devil survivor overclocked XE or whatever and I probably played like two hours of it and I could make heads and tails of what I was looking at nice work. it was completely incomprehensible to me If you, f if you can figure it out, let me know. 
Hooray! Slight improvement! Trevenant, what a dude! The Persona games are a spin off of the Shin Megami Tensei games, right? Am I understanding that correctly? I've not played Persona. I've not played any of the Persona games. The closest I've come to playing a Persona game is playing Smash Brothers. There you go. Ah, just barely not. Mm -hmm. It wasn't big enough. Our boy, the Professor Mirror, loves it when Pokemon are big. This is what we've learned. He doesn't think that's a big enough Pokemon. Well, shucks. Mirror. An idiot. He likes that one. This is real big. Look how big that Pokemon is, Lin. Mmm. So big. It's actually quite challenging. I... I'm gonna have to believe you. I didn't play enough to really assess one or the other. Maybe one of these days I'll go back and slam that bad boy into the 3DS, but... Oh boy. It, uh... It made no sense to me. It was, like, unintelligible. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying that, like, I just didn't like it. I was saying that, like, I did not comprehend what was in front of me. This one wins because the Pokemon's bigger. You gotta get that big, baby. Yeah, maybe we'll have to give it another try. I couldn't tell you what the part I played was about or what was happening. I literally did not know. Wow, that's worth 4,000, eh? Guess he liked the pile of leaves. Placement is good. Man, what a good collection of deer. Well, if you say it's good, I know you're not an idiot, so that's something, right? I mean, people seem to love them. People say they're incredible. They say they're incredible, but I just haven't been part of that. Instead of incredible, it's more incredible. First hour in Sin Megami Tensei, you get your ass handed to you. Oh, who hands your ass to you? Fantastic. And why? How did they get it? That's what I want to know. Yep. What a great photo. God, that was my new favorite. All right. What an idiot. Wow. The kitchen sink hands you your butt. How did the kitchen sink get your butt? I demand no. All right, we're gonna take the best photos ever and people are gonna love me. Wow, okay, well, if you say so. You seem pretty smart. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trust everything you have to say. Eat this apple. There's a Cacleon over there. Just chilling. Look over here, bud. Oh, I wish I could have gotten that. No, come back. What a jerk. Cackling, I love you. I hate you. I guess you get him once. You can you can do that while cloaked? What a jerk. You may think I know what's happening, but it's like all I can tell you is ellipses. I want to know. I'm going to try to knock that rock out of the air. <sighs> I'm losing. I mean, I wonder what happens if I hit the Esper. If the rock falls on a Pokemon, crushing it. Killing it. And now you're a demon. How do you feel about that? The apple is a dragon, right? Man, that apple out of there. He outie. Hmm? 
I'm sure something is hiding in them, but I can't seem to do anything about it. I wonder if that'll count as a good shot. Pretty swanky. It's like, so it's like good. You like it. You're like, I'm a demon and that's alright with me. Sur superior. Your superior serpent. Get it? Superior, do you like apple? Oh, I hit it. It's annoyed at me. And then that bird is eating it. Wow. Pokemon are so beautiful. Oh, yeah, I have to kill God? Jeez. Guy can't catch a break these days. He's always having uh, the animes pick on him. Hello, dearling. It is a bit of a trope, eh? That the character you have to fight at the end of the game is God. I wonder how God got himself into that rut. Hopefully that'll be a good photo. One of those. Somebody's making weird sounds over there. Oh, Esper. Oh, an Esper came down. Everyone get excited. Your friends now? Looks like it. Wow. What a time to be alive. All of a sudden we got in. Man stuff is getting boring. Time to kill God and take over the universe. That's a rapid escalation for sure. How bored do you have to be in order to try to take over the universe? The the games are like modern day though, right? They're not like fantasy games, right? And everyone's gritty and frowning. You'd have to be pretty bored to take over the entire universe. I mean, imagine being so bored that taking over the entire universe is the only remedy for your for your boredom. Oh, that guy wanted the apple. That guy was into it. That's funny. I was not worried to see their friend get bonked on the head at all. He's just, I'm hungry. Give me those eats. Well, I'll have to take a look. I finally started replaying uh, Final Fantasy VII. I'll let you know. Did you ever play the OG Final Fantasy VII? The, or the original, as it were? Or did you just play the remake? Oh, Grandpa. I mean, Grandpa. I mean, Grandpa. Say that again. Oh, did you ever? Did I? I um, just started replaying uh, Final Fantasy VII. Did you uh, ever play the original, or did you just play the remake? Wake up, Grandpa! I need photos. Did the mask? inhibit your hearing or was it more you had your headphones off while taking the mask off kind of vibe oh lotad my sweet prince what's up Bulbasaur oops hey James is gone Who is the real culprit? James, I gotta know. I gotta know. Yeah, the original Final Fantasy VII, it does not do a great job of of leading you to the next checkpoint, as it were. A lot of times in that game, it can be hard to know what, like, what the hell is up. 
You were the culprit. You did it. Is this a confession? Are you fasting up to it right now? Then after all these years, the mystery solved. It wasn't just an accident. It was you who had done it. It's a real who done it, but we know exactly who done it, and it was James Ed Smith. The name of the crook who committed the crime. This is a Twitch stream confessions. Should we collect this? Forward this to the authorities. I mean, honestly, my one star is not that much worse than the pre-existing one. You don't like playing tutorials, especially in a JRPG? Imagine that. There's some good tutorial content in... Um, that's a nice photo. Look at that. Or look at that right there. There's some tutorial stuff. They teach you how to use Materia and... And uh, they introduce the battle mechanics to you quite slowly. If you count that as being tutorial. I don't know if you do. Yes, is this police? Can I speak to police, please? Hi, my name's Liam, and I'm, you know, I'm not from your country, but a guy on my stream just said he did it. Uh, go to twitch.tv slash liamg25 slash subscribe, and you can uh, finally solve the crime. You can get all the, I'll let you take all of the, uh, the credit for being the sleuth to finally crack this one. Try that. Let's see. I know I can get a better Survivor or whatever it's called, but I know I can do better than that. But that's a that for that. There's literally no need for tutorials. As far as I know, the Shin Megami Tensei games are have a uh, have a hardcore audience in mind, so to speak. They're intentionally aimed at people who've played a lot of JRPGs before, right? As far as I understand, that's kind of their audience. All right. Duke, Duke, D. That's pretty fair. And the Moog segments, they're pretty rare. I've never actually played Final Fantasy VI. It's on my to play list, so you don't don't revoke my gamer creds quite yet. Yeah, it's on the list. I'm playing through. I'm replaying through Final Fantasy VII right now. I know a lot of people say it's the best one. I'm, it's on the list. I'm I'm doing it. We're getting there. We're getting there. I would stream it, but I don't think it's a good game to stream. You know what I'm saying? I think you need to take that at your own speed. Nice work. Enjoy it. You know, chew and digest it. Right? Some things can't rush. Well, wow, that's interesting. Shin Megami Tensei. You don't Shin Megami Tensei. Um, I've been fired for that pun. The... Yeah, yeah I, you know, I'd give it a try. Maybe after I've played Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> I've been streaming Adventures of Lolo 3, comma, uh, that was good. How, uh, how, how is your pace? Are you speed running it? Does your pace happen to be breaking it? If only the Pokemon were bigger, I would have gotten that, uh, that lucrative 5,000 pointer. You're dumb slowing it. Your brain no think good. You know those, uh, headaches that you have with pictures? You know, headaches with pictures? They help you, uh, they help you solve puzzles, I hear. Hooray! Better bird! Yeah, yeah, why not? It's a better photo, too. Better bird. Better bird. Okay. Grid base, top down, strategy puzzle. I honestly don't know much about the series. Another thing I should invest a little bit more time into. So many games to play, right? And here I am taking photos of of Pokemon, pretending to tolerate Professor Muir and his stupidity. That's a terrible photo, but he still gave it three grand. Chat 
Chips Challenge, Mole Mania, Puzzle Depot. Nice work. Is that a game where you work at a warehouse for puzzles? Puzzle Depot? Yeah, there's so many good games out there. The other thing is, is like the whole history of video games to dig into, right? So, the back catalog is quite deep at this point. Devil May Cry. I've never played a single Devil May Cry. I've not been making the devil shed any tears for me. Does the devil ever cry in Devil May Cry? That's what we gotta know. Sure, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the ways that puzzle games are set up is there's, you know, a puzzle and you click the button that takes you to the puzzle. And then you do the puzzle, and that's it. And there might be some sort of progression in terms of the game mechanics presented in each puzzle. They might add elements or get more hard. Get more hard! Um, but overall, yeah, they're uh, just sort of an escalation. Alright, we, we're trying to get a better Geodude photo for my dude Geo... my dude. There's one song in Devil May Cry 3 where it's called Devils Don't Cry, and the lyric is that devils do cry. They can't make up their mind about what they, what they want, devil-wise. That's a crying shame. I just ran over that Shinx. I just flattened him with my Neo 1. That Pokemon is dude. Anorak's booty. Poke booty. Ugh, Talonflame, why are you so fast? The reactions aren't good enough. For the red blur. Okay, well there's a bunch of dudes I have to come back here for. Good guess. Graveler. I'm taking some real bad photos today. Just thought I'd let everyone know. What's going on? They make horrible noises. I think I've gotten these photos before. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here at all. Get hit. Okay, these photos suck. That does sound like a better approach to uh, delivering a puzzle game experience, James. I'll have to take a look at that one of these days. Add it to the list. What did we add today? <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei. We added uh, Final Fantasy VI. We've added uh, Adventures of Lolo. I'll get right on it. Yeah, so many good games to play. So little time. One of these days, though. Monferno. I really hated you. I don't really like the, any of the fire starters. I'm gonna be honest. Name one good fire starter Pokemon. Let's see, can't do it. They're all pretty rough. I got a sweet new world record in um, uh, Marine Pit Adventure yesterday. I beat the old time by 15 seconds for world 18. Oh man, we're going fast. Super duper fast. Charismander. Do you like cooked apples or what? Okay. Charmander looks like he's got something wrong with him. These two show up here. Do they battle? Is there like a third one that I needed to harass? 
I don't know how that was supposed to work, but it's fine. I think there's a lot of this game that I'm missing. Quite honestly. I don't know if I got a good weird turtle picture. Torkoal? Torkoal, do you like apple? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Turtle loves the delicious apple. Alright, I think we got that one. Can we get a Charmander riding a turtle? Yeah, for your next big project. Right, that, that feeling of personal improvement. The wonder of, uh, of developing mastery. Oh, those synapses firing, burning white hot. That's cool. That's a good goal. What is your next uh, project going to be like? What's the goal? I take it you're making a puzzle game. Can we get some new ruins? Why does everything always have to be ancient? Why can't we get like a fresh ruin? It's not a puzzle game. You just want to capture that feeling. Sort of a bonus round where you get to fly an ostrich around and catch hundreds of tiny golden ostriches. We did travel back in time. We're um, in the prehistoric Pokemon times. How's it going, Adam? Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Five looks good. You know, what more do you want? It's nice and puffy, very middle, big. Pokemon in background. This one looks a little bit more serene, but. Let's go with five. Let's go with five. Game design's fun. I started working on my Game Boy development project. Going well, we just chilling. Just coming down after the uh, the, the loss, the, the misery, the letdown. We're just gonna tuck that photo in there. You can barely even see the Pokemon in, in this. I promise there's two lava slugs in here. It's like a magic it's a magic eye thing. You gotta squint just right to see them. And I guess that counts as a three star. We really got to get better snaps of this talent flame. We suck. Oh, I already have a three star. I see. Okay, that could actually be a candidate for a one star, so we're going with it. I'm doing good. I had a good day. Working hard. I ended up with a, a really weird, silly problem at the end of the day that I lost like an hour and a half to, which is always amazing. But, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. I, uh, for whatever reason, my Visual Studio stopped including a file in the compilation process, and I have no idea why. I was just, I updated, uh, I added in like a hard-coded value in order to test some, uh, just some fringe case, and it just wouldn't take the value, and then it turned out that just the whole file was not being recompiled, and I have no idea why. I don't even know how you... If I wanted to do that, I don't even know how I would. So, but otherwise, it's a good day. Playing with my boy Aerodactyl in the Volcano Land. That was a good last second shot, eh? Right? Just on, just on reflex, just on reaction. Typhlosion. Yeah. So this is the same as the other one from before, but I think the pose is better. Let's get more of that frill. Some tie rotten booty. It's very similar to the last one. We're not even gonna bother. Okay. 
That's kind of a nice one. We just need a one star here. Add to the collection. Let's use this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, sometimes these these duels work in mysterious ways, eh? It can be hard to figure out exactly what makes them think, but I think it's reasonable to suggest that my copy of Visual Studio is haunted. This <laughs> might try reinstalling Windows. Delete System 32. All right, Mirror. I don't think these are great photos either. So for one, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna listen to you. I'm gonna pay attention to what you have to say. Nice work. Just tolerate you. Oh, he likes this one because of big. Look at big though. Mm. Nice work. Nothing to compare it to. Mostly big. That's a good photo. The path is bored again. No, no, thankfully not. Mm. Nice work. Yeah, who knows? I don't. E I couldn't even start to tell you what had happened what had caused that that's fine nice work it's life now this photo is pot of garbage hot garbage mm. turn me down a hair just there nice work what about you how'd your day go any exciting happening any big stories I went out to get a coffee and I overheard several conversations on the street of people complaining about the Leafs being trash at hockey. I thought it was very funny. It's just sort of like on the lips of Torontonians right now. Just hating the Maple Leafs again. Nice work. This is a very unremarkable photo trip, I think. I lost those big points though. Just slightly better, but not better enough to matter. Typhlosion. Nice work. Yeah, actually performed fairly well. Torkoal, buddy, speak to me. Okay, well we're in there, we're at the foreground. As long as we hit that diamond mark, right? We are good. Yeah. Oh baby. Volcano level up. I had a marketing Fantastic. meeting. After uh after work, which is fun. For my own game stuff. Nothing nothing like a good marketing meeting. To end a good day, right? Alright, we're going back to Volcano. We gotta get some better 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 snaps to some of these bogeymanses. I believe, right? I believe this can be improved. Be our, our Altera photo. So it comes from here, right? Where are you, Talent Flame? Hopefully, one of those was good. I was just spamming. I was just mashing. I was mashing Wake Up Talent Flame. Y'all know what I mean? On Fern, I'll get out of here. No one likes you. Yeah, I went well. We got some good, good practical, actionable ideas. That matters, right? You gotta have ideas you can use. I can hear some happy sounds, apparently. What? You're silly. Can I get that talent blame? 
Not much poos. Take to the air, fly. Actually, I think I've already got a good talent plane, so we're not gonna waste. We can change the finish assignment. You sad boy. <laughs> right there in October. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, I gotta do some. I gotta do some co-op work too. So apparently, like some of the assignments are already due. I only gained access to the course uh, like on Monday, so there's a few things that I think were due last Friday. <laughs> it's fine. They're all they're all like complete, not complete. So, I just, there's like right reflections about one time you made a software, and it. It gave you uh, thinkings. I should, just, I should just fill out my my reflections honestly and just say I, I try not to think quite honestly. I think it's probably best if I just don't reflect on anything. Outcome could only be dangerous, right? What good could come of that? I'm trying to get that corner kill on that Charmander. You know what I'm saying? All right, I've gathered you here today. I guess in the games, Charmanders are always portrayed as being uh, on their hind, right? All right, good work, everybody. You're killing it. We're all super proud of you. Well. I don't know if I have a good graveler uh, shot anywhere. Maybe that's it then. Big Torkoal. <laughs> Eat a Charmander. Okay. Maybe that'll be good. Oh, Slugma. Glad you joined us. Oh, yeah. That's good. Nice. Thank you. Good. Good. That should be an improvement. Right there with Pidgeot. That's cool. Did you play X and Y a lot then? Because, uh, Town Flame is, is your, uh, X and Y boy for sure, right? Oh, it's a lecture ray. I don't know if we've gotten one of those yet. You made up reflections? I won't, uh. I won't. I won't. I won't rat you out. I won't tell the feds. There you go. What a shot to end the round on. Oh baby. Oh baby. Look at that. Well, we'll look at it later. Not right now. Professor Mirror doesn't want to talk about it right now. Yeah, geez. Um, oh, those are only worth one star, eh? That sucks. For some reason, in the past, I've gotten a three star from the, the Alteria in the water, but we'll throw that up. We'll see what he has to say. Three star. A dude dude being pissed. I kinda like that photo. And it gets. Okay, look at that. What do you think? Two or three. Probably three, right? Two or three. Four is kinda fun too. But I don't think the professor is gonna give me points for that. Three? Okay. We got a three in the in the chat. I don't know that any of these are pretty good. This is a fun photo. Uh, our, our current one is trash, so I think that this is a good candidate for a new one. Our current one star only has 2,480 points, right? It sucks. It's basically garbage. Uh, oh yeah, we'll go. We'll go with six. Sure.
sure. Yeah, yeah. Town Flame's fun. I forget what the uh, the prior levels of of that are. Oh, it's drunk. In that one goes. Hey, Loomis, wise one. How's it going? Oh, thanks for following. I appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Oh yeah, the original, the the 64 version. My cartridge is up there somewhere. Should grab it. Just for old times' sakes. case somewhere on that shelf I think anyways you can believe me yeah it's a good game it's been a good game uh, I recommend it I'm having a lot of fun you can live vicariously through me for the time being how you doing today Loomis how you doing this evening picking some photos um I think this I think number seven is just like obvious it's just it's just better than our current three star so there we are. Will do. Welcome, welcome aboard. Bienvenue. Um, I think these are the same photo. I don't think we're gonna beat it, but we'll throw that in. Let's we'll see what the professor says. Um. Okay. I think we definitely got a better one star. But by how much better? I think the two stars where we really shined here, or maybe not. Hmm. They look kind of the same. I keep on not getting good Charmander shots. Maybe four. Kind of hard to say. I'm good. I'm doing. I'm doing quite well. Just playing some Pokemanses with my Palos. It feels good. It feels good. Let's try four. Feel free to feel free to shout out if you think I'm making a mistake. But um, or this one star could be our current one star. I think Charmander is bigger in this photo, and there's also better centered, and we got that torque hole. Or is this a better three star? I might get points for the pose here. Hard to say. Let's try this. Let's try this. I feel like I got a better torque hole today. I feel like this has got to be a better one, right? This is one second later. <laughs> you can see the timestamp. It goes down to the second. Um, yeah. The other thing we can do is try to beat the, the three star. Three? You thinking three? All right. Numero, numero three Torkoal, and you get. Okay, we definitely killed this Slugma. Little Charmander photobomb. Let's sneak it in there. Um, I think it's probably it's gonna be either four or seven, right? So seven more of Slug, Slugma. What's your name? Yeah, Slugma, is in the frame. Um, but I think four is just bigger. I think they're both centered. I think we'll get more points for direction for four. I'm kind of leaning towards four. Even though, like, I kind of like that the all of the Slugma is in number seven. But I think four is what gets us the most points. And if we're playing for stupid Professor Muir's favor here, I think that's where we gotta go, right? I think that's the right choice. Okay. Let me know if you think I'm an idiot. And we just got one of Luxury. So. This is what we're taking. That's what we're bringing. Okay, let's see if we can scrape together some points here. Let's do this. 
Well, let's do this. What a silly boy. Yeah, got a pretty okay N64 collection. I've got your boy Star Fox. The 64th. I've got the old, uh, everyone's got to own a copy, right? What's the point in having N64 if you don't have Ocarina of Time? Great timing. Great timing. Better pose, I guess. Less size, so we lose. If anything the professor likes in this game, mm. Luis is the is just big, just big Pokemon. Though seven, bam, 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 can't beat that, right? It's quintessential playing on the N64. I think this is like a an interesting looking photo, even if it's not worth a lot of points. I kind of like it. Maybe we'll throw that one in the album. Remind me to go to the album. Got the yellow cart. The old Donkey Kong. Mario Tennis, you gotta love it. What a great game. I really liked the early Mario Tennis games quite a bit. Mario Tennis for the Game Boy Color is one of my favorite video games of all time. No irony there at all. Yeah, okay. This is a good choice for the photo. On a Mario theme, we've got the old Mario Kart 64. Worn to death. Covered in gross. Even the sticker on the cartridge is, is worn out. I'm getting too much playtime. Okay, I think we're definitely going to bump this Graveler big. This is going to be a huge improvement. Great timing. Rogue Squadron. Oh, baby. Rogue Squadron seems like it just looks so good for the N64. It just looks great. New record. Yeah, we all knew. We all knew. This one is sort of a hit and miss. There's a lot of people who really like Yoshi's Story. There's a lot of people who hate it. But here it is. Yoshi's Story. Sort of middle of the road on it. I think this is also going to be an improvement. Yeah. The pose is worse, but we got all those points for big, right? Or in the uh, in the pocket of, of big big. Another rare classic. Some folks uh, are of a different mindset about this game too. I don't know that how many people actually beat Jet Force Gemini. The end game is really weird to get to. It's this ludicrous collectathon. There you go. This is a photo. Look at that. So close to uh, to five thousand. Direction placement just slightly off. Almost perfect for the pose. I don't know why the background's no good. This is thirty-eight points worth of uh, Typhlosion sniffing an apple. Yeah, and it gets. And it gets. Aerodactyl one stars. The one on the left is like pretty prototypical. Banjo Kazooie, you gotta have it, right? I was never, to be quite honest, I'm not a huge Banjo Kazooie fan, not a fanboy. But uh, I know that people love it. Kind of like the existing one more, even though it's fewer points. I'm sure we'll beat this three star one day. So for now, we might as well hold on to the photo that we actually enjoy. Nice work. Oh, less size. Better direction and placement though. And we get that. We get that Charmander bump. That 54 points that Charmander is so famous for. <laughs> in it gets, in it gets. And uh Paper Mario. Not uh, you know, it's it's no Super Mario RPG, but nice work. what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I mean, it's a way better photo than the previous one. And it's the Pokemon is there at all. Nice work. Seems like it's on the way somewhere. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. I don't know. Hardly, hardly see with the Pokemon in this one, but it's fine. That was a bunch of placement. I thought that was our first 
Lux Ray photo, but I guess I'm wrong. What's everyone's favorite Pokemon? Should we try again? I think we can get a better we can get a better variety of Typhlosion photos now. Yeah, I got more into four games up there, but they're in cases. I'm not gonna take them out. It's all we. Eat the apple. Get excited for apples. Man, that guy's just cruise right through the apples. Oh no, so scared. Didn't see me there. What a silly. I wonder if we can bonk the town flame. Bonk. We did, but it didn't stop him. But for the record, I did bonk the town flame. You were all there, you saw it. Well, that sucks. Three Geodudes. Or, uh, Gravelers. Away they go. There's whole areas of this route that don't make a ton of sense to me. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. What a game it would be is if the Talon Flame could attack you and beat you up. Right over its head. I mean, I did get it. Just to no end. To no avail. To no profit. <laughs> I wonder how many apples you gotta hit him with to wake him up. And whether or not that's a good goal in life. We can try the other one. I don't know. I'm doing my best over here. It's like Charmander sounds in the distance. I don't really know what they make of them. The, uh, I don't know what's going on with these Charmanders down here in the, in the middle. I can't make heads to hail, tails or what, what they're up to. Do I, like, have to get them to fight each other? Convince them to be violent? Where are they going? Are they just gonna end up in the next room? Is that the vibe? Oh, that's what I'm hearing. Is that stupid monkey jumping all around up there? Whatever. You suck. Gotcha. I wonder if you. Yeah, yeah, I got it early. Okay, maybe I can get a better uh, one star. Charmander. Oh, wow. He just jumped right over me. He was not impressed. Okay, Slug Dude was into that in a big way. Okay, okay. I don't know if I'm learning anything. It's all this blue stuff. Yeah, you can take a photo without zooming in. You know, you just go. Sometimes you need to take photos like mid-zoom, because if you take them um, with the zoom on, they'll be too far away, or they'll be too close in. 
to sort of cut the difference. Do you like apple? Delicious apple. Angry doggy. Okay, now they're just they're just flexing. Nobody's even here. They're just getting mad. I need like a one star. I just needed the dude standing around. Let's see how that does. Do you like apple though? Apple? Apple? Oh wow. This guy's getting violent with this apple. Yeah, yeah, you can mess around a bit. You can also accelerate your vehicle slightly. Good to see you. Which can change the timing of things. You can either like catch up or pass certain Pokemon that are whose like poses are on seemingly on a timer. <laughs> Poor buddy. <laughs> Let's try that one. <laughs> um Or, you know, you can cause things to happen. Yeah, yeah. He's, no, everyone's entitled to a warm meal. Uh, or you can like cause things to happen by like hitting Pokemon with apples or playing music or whatever, and then you can try to race ahead to meet them at their next spot, kind of thing. The original's pretty good. We'll try that. He's got three of them in there. We'll see what he says. Okay, we got something other than a three star. That's great. Two. That's pretty. That's pretty metal. <laughs> I think this is, uh, I think 11's be clear. Yeah, any, any objections? I think 11 is the one. Okay. Archaeops. Oh, we got a four star. That's exciting. I think 11's the way to go, yeah. It's like... Of the two to pick from, this is not good. So, 11. 11's where we're at. 11, 11, smashing. Smashing the 11 button. I don't know, this is an attempt at a slightly better one. They're like the same photo. One it is. Tyrantrum. Oh, we got a two star. This is just a Tyrantrum but re reacting to being struck with an apple. I think four is probably gonna quiz better than than two, so or than number one, so we'll go with that. Aerodactyl. Uh, again, these are kind of kind of butts. We're not gonna bother. We're not gonna bother him. Okay, so this is like the same as the one that we already have, just better. Same pose, just closer, better centered. I think I think this is gonna crack the 4K. You get. Uh, you know what? I'm curious about what this gets for points for poses, but I don't think it's gonna replace our current one. So we're gonna we're just gonna do some research. What do you think? Three or two? Certainly better than whatever this is. It's hard to look at. Yeah, Moocha from Monferno. This is this is like a rap album, right? <laughs> That's the cover art. I think three. I think I think the Pokemon's bigger in three, which we know is important to the professor. The professor really appreciates, if not anything else, just a big Pokemon. He just wants some big. So we're going with three. Um. Yeah. We're trying, right? We're trying. No subject. My example photos. All right. Let's turn some points, boys and girls. Let's make Pokemon history. Nice work. Same pose, I guess. But big. But big. 
What? Wow. I got robbed. I got robbed. This one, I was just trying to see the pose points would be different. For some reason, it bathing is a better pose than it flying. Big sad. Many sadness. Great timing. Much don't like. Boo. Professor Stupid. This is a really funny looking photo, though. So much sadness. Great about what this gets. 902 for bows. Wow, I got robbed. That's funny, eh? I guess the placement is off. Because, uh... Professor Mirror is an idiot. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he doesn't know anything about composition. I think this is going to do well. Yeah, 972 for Pose. Big size. Perfect placement. Oh, baby. I don't know if I've cracked that five grand yet. Ah, uh, mission complete. Excellent. Congratulations. Wonderful. Nice work. Same pose. More size. New record. Well, forty points. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. That's what the professor thinks. The Pokemon is in dead center in the photo. It might as well just be a photo of nothing. I'm Professor Mirror, and I'm an idiot. Nice work. It looks like he's been bopped by something. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. He's, he's rewarding me for harassing wild animals. Other Pokemon? What? Can you see it? Did you see the other Pokemon? Hmm. We lost a lot of direction points. Okay, this has got to be better. Same pose, more size, better direction, better placement. We did it. We lost 21 points for lack, lack of torque holes, though. The torque hole penalty. Okay. Okay. Get some views from the six action there. <laughs> yeah. You know what? This is alarmingly close. It's funny, eh? Wow. Look at that. 20 points for the gla Graveler arms. Views from the six, right? Sweet. We're improving our Slugma library. Nice work. No. Oh. <laughs> Just from very bad to regularly bad. It's the same photo. Okay, we're gonna head to uh, <clears throat> the island of Dorichi and check out uh, the Lumina Pokemon in the ice there. We found a new right. one. Yeah, Dorichi Island. Dorichi! Uh... Hi. Hi. Thanks, Todd. Did you know? Now yeah, we're gonna do it. Let's see what my boy's up to. <whistles> Doo -doo -ah. Looks like your target is uh, Geodude? Geodude? Is it Garchomp? <clears throat> that was a Steelix probably. How amazing would it have been if it was Geodude? Rushing up to it could be dangerous. Be careful. Nah, we're good. Full steam ahead. Where are you at? 
Where you at, boy? Where are you, Steelix? I guess it's gotta be a big hole then, right? Dude loves... Dude loves the apples. Steelix is just into them. Oh, he doesn't count. This is the no shiny. Where you at, Steelix? Me want photo. Uka uka. Maybe it takes a few of the orthos up because it's so big. Yeah. Thanks, Rita. When did this turn into a shooter? Steelix loves fruit. <laughs> Is this going well? I don't know. I don't know the logic here, Adam. I think he flies. He's pretty quick. So you gotta know where he's gonna be ahead of time. I'm I'm pretty sure that not a single photo I've taken yet will count, right? I feel like if I get him it'll be accidentally. There you go. I lit that little plant up. Congratulations to me. The old crystal bloom. <clears throat> I think I got him though. Not sure if it'll matter. Leading is getting farther away. Maybe you'll get its Illumina state next time. Boo. Yeah, this is boss mode. Okay, well that was quick. Don't say about that. <clears throat> we'll get back. I think maybe I got half of a photo. For being honest. Right there at the end. Do -dee -dee -dee. Boo, you suck. Dear Liam, you're too much of an idiot. Zero points. You mind? Oops. Alright, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll make it happen. We know how to do it now. We'll get it. We'll get this. <clears throat> you probably can't get him with an apple the first time. I wonder if there's like a pattern. Or if it's random every time. In terms of where he shows up. Did I get him? I can tell. I 
Okay, I got it. I got it. Ah. That sucks. I didn't know he'd come out from where he left him for. One thing that's definitely missing from this game is like the whole heartbeat thing. They did a thing in the last game where like when you really focus you could hear your character's heartbeat. Did I even get it once? Him up. Come on. Trying. There you go. I think that counted at all. Who knows? Well, there it went. The game's cheating me. Before you return, could I trouble you to make a quick detour? Yeah, we can make a detour. Something caught my attention while you were chasing after that Steelix. It was in an apple. Past that broken wall, there appears to be a large open area. The scan says it's not a natural formation. It's human-made. Ooh, some sort of... It's just begging to be explored. Some sort of pogeyman's temple. Get our young photographer trapped underground and killed. I can't say for sure, but I think it may be another ruin connected to the Illumina Pokemon. Hmm. My god. Look at that mural. Mm hmm. Melodic. Years old? Jeez, you startled me. Oh, it's Professor. Old. It must have been made around the time the meteorite hit. Fantastic. What a discovery. Does this show what the people saw back then? So, the Pokemon are protecting them from the meteorite? Hmm. The patterns on these Pokemon. Could they be Illumina Pokemon? Yep. That's the plot. Did Illumina Pokemon exist before the meteorite fell after all? And was there another Illumina Pokemon in the center? They got killed by an asteroid. Professor? Is it Mewtwo? Oh, sorry. Is the... I got a bit lost in thought. Is the Pokemon 
the I've professor. Got some good data for now. Let's sort it out once you're back. <laughs> you can ruin you can ruin the ancient tapestry by throwing apples at it. I'm into it. So we must have gotten that Steelix photo our boy loves. What's going on about for so long? Steelix. These are all crappy. Hi, Karumba. What are we gonna do? Maybe this one gives us just a hot mess. Just whatever. Just shiny garbage. Into it. Send it. I guess you just gotta learn Let's the timing this. and huck the huckers. Wow, this photo is total garbage. Nice work. There you go, three thousand. <laughs> yeah, totally. This is the biggest Pokemon I've ever seen. Five thousand points. Boop. You only need one point to level the area up. It's funny. Look at that. You hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for challenges, no matter how small. Or changes, rather. Whatever. Underground Guardian. That's me. Comic. We already had something like that, but fine. Now we've got that aluminum Pokemon info. We can send a report. Sweet. Return to camp. Let's see what he has to say. Now loading. Ooh. All the energy is going to somewhere in the ocean. And there's going to be a big Pokemon. It's Mewtwo. area to explore before our survey comes to an end. Ready for the final frontier? The bowl to go, where no man has gone before. These are the voyages of the Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, yeah. I am ready. That mural has turned my whole theory on its head. <laughs> the Pokemon summoned the meteorite. Not only is there another Illumined Pokemon, but they've also been around since before the meteorite. Oh. Is it just me, Professor? Or is that excitement in your voice? Mm -hmm. It's not just you. This was not expected, but it's a fascinating discovery. Also. Now we're doing real science. Plus, I've gone over all our data, and it shows that the energy from all of Lentil is converging in one spot. It's the same spot that we pick a very faint reading from an aluminum Pokemon. <gasps> the central one from the mural. Any bets on what the Pokemon is? Uh-huh. As for that. This points to a tiny island that doesn't even appear on the map. Voltorb? I can see a Voltorb. I'd be, I'm into it. Voltorb is basically a Pokemon, right? It's like a Pokeball Pokemon. Spoken legends of Aurora's Island. Time for one final expedition. But let's find the truth once and for all. I'm into it. We're gonna go get Massamoon or Excalibur or whatever out in the ocean. The runes of remembrance. These runes slumber on a forgotten island. Their origins? A mystery. Ruins. Ruined power plant? There's gonna be some Lemuria stuff here. The Atlanteans? Do you know what I mean? It was 2,000 million years ago, but they had cell phones. Bienvenido. Final Frontier. It's got Bossa Nova and Hell Dog. And Drift Bond. Holding Gloss. Here with the other Skip Bloom. Careful. 
There you go. Yeah, another one of these crystal blooms. Another one of these ancient runes. Come on. What is it going? What's going on here? Yeah, another crystal bloom. I get it. Okay, we're going. We're just, we're just dumping in this hole. That's cool. See ya. You smell. Are they trying to be ominous or what? I've never really been a fan of this Pokemon. As discussed, I've no, I've no great love for a dark Pokemon. We've got enough. Oh yeah, those weirdos. I saw someone back here. Sand lit. I remember you from Sun and Moon. You grow up to be very fancy color. And you, Sigglyth. Everything's gonna be fine. There's no way I'm gonna end up being food. I'm not gonna be ambushed and murdered. Certainly not. Ooh, it's a rave. Hello, weird psychic bird thing. You're sort of totem poly. Holy lord. It's doing murders. Oh, yeah. Go lurk. An Elegium or Behema? The other one, I think, is Elegi or whatever. Elegium. However you say it. Oh, there's, uh rungs on the wall for torturing people I see I see three chain them up look over here let me an idiot this is such level one area behavior from these Pokemon where they won't look right at you you smell no one likes you Go lurk, I love you. Pay attention to me. No, over here. You're a big buddy, eh? It's one of those situations where you shouldn't use the zoom. These are like altars for the different Illumina Pokemon. Numerous deep gashes are here. Worshipping the Elder... Uh, Pokemon gods, all the different Illumina flowers over there. Oh, I like you, Natu. You're cute, bye. Little tennis ball. Little psychic tennis ball. Oh, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. No, I want Natu. Oh, so sweet. Uh. Big hell dog. You're one big hell of a dog. Boom, burn out. What a great shot, baby. They're friends. One of them's big and the other one is very small. Big hell dog. Yeah, it's one of each. What's this? There's some sort of pedestal sleeping behind. Let's sleep and go lurk. Get out of my way, you idiot. Well. Whatever. Well, it's good that this teleporter thing is just waiting for us in the cave. It's pretty handy. That, that Natu shot has got to be worth at least 6,000 points. At least. Hello. Hello. Hound Doom, you smell. 
I mean, all these photos look the same. It's just sort of angry. That's a good shot, though. One in the background. I think that's our buddy. These other ones we'll be able to get later, but I think I think five is this is where the money's at. That's where we're gonna make the big bucks. Eld glass. Uh, that one's actually facing me. It's pretty good. These all kind of suck. Let's go with that one. Uh, you don't actually lose that many points. You're going with five, just like a big old buddy. Facing the wrong direction, but. I'm willing to try it out. I'm willing to see your way. There we go. That's that's the one, right? He's all sleepy. He's a little tiny boy. He's all sleepy on the on the go lurk. You meant five for Houndoom? Let's see. Oh well, it worked. It worked out. I'll try this too. I don't know, these are all the same photos, but he's giving them different stars. Whatever, just slam it in there. Remember that time this Sigilif tried to murder us psychically? What do you think, nine or seven? Nine or seven. Nine is definitely more centered. Seven is bigger though. And I don't think he's that uncentered. I think it's seven. Seven is big. All right, we're going with it. The magic ingredient in all Pokemon photos is just big. It took a lot of Golurks. Let's just go with this super basic one, sir. I think it'll get the goods. Yeah. Nothing too fancy. Just a big Pokemon. Number 10. Number 10. This is a strange Pokemon, eh? Let's try that. Six or five. I think it's six. The facing's better. He's a little bigger more centered I feel let's go with six okay let's see what's going on now then shake everything you got he's gonna give me a ton of points for this I just know it I just know it we're getting a ton here Great timing. Great timing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very nearly the first 5,000 pointer. I don't know how you can improve the placement there. Or the direction, really. But. Hey. That's just the way it is. A new discovery. A new discovery. Nah, too. A new discovery. Nice work. Aw, oh, that's like a golic shoulder. Nice work. Keep it up. Ten points. We got killed. That's unfair. The professor just committed a murder. He's like, yeah, but the Pokemon's not big. It doesn't matter how cute it is. Zero points. A new discovery. Why even bother take pictures of Pokemon who aren't big? Clearly in the professor's eyes, Whale Lord is the best Pokemon in the world, right? Because it's the biggest. A new discovery. They must have done a lot of testing when they made this game and determined that like big was the thing that most players could understand. Nice work. Otherwise I don't know how you could explain such preferential treatment to just sheer Pokemon size. A new discovery. Perfect timing. 
We'll take it. In you get. Meow. A new discovery. Aren't those incredible? You get the feeling we're drawing closer to the center of the ancient mystery. Wow. I like how we just had a page for ancient ruins ready to go. Just presumed that we would find them. Do you mind? Yeah, we can we can photograph a glowing crystal bloom. Dark collector. Yeah, who knows? I wouldn't be surprised if it was something like that. Man, we're just getting all sorts of all sorts of bonuses today. Okay, let's try it again. My cool little uh, bus here. You smell. We need to find a glowing crystal bloom somewhere. That could be good. You're up there. Where is dog? I know you're coming. Yeah, I'm sure we'll never see it, but I agree. I think a lot of the a lot of the behind the scenes stuff for this game would be pretty cool to learn about how the systems were made. Smile for the camera boys. Couldn't figure out which apple it wanted. Go away. Get out of here, you stupid dog. Sweet. Yeah, the camera vision, like all the underlying systems, and how they figure out, like, who's what distance away, the evaluations for, like, the poses, when the animations give you what points, how to record that information. Okay. As you go, right? So you, there's a glowing crystal bloom in here somewhere, I guess. Maybe. The doctor said that we needed to find one. That's a uh, meganium right there for sure. Coming after me. Go like a huge. What's that? So sort of weird rock, it's cool. I'm into it. Go away. You like airful? Okay. 
Little cutie pie. Yeah. Not really sure what's going on here. I mean, I think I hit that bird, but whatever. There's a crystal bloom there, but it's not glowy. Do I just need to be a higher level? Shh. You suck. How do we wake Golurk up? So what's happening here? Okay. Don't know what to say about all of this. It's a mystery. Do I just need to hit every Pokemon in the head? <laughs> no, the hound didn't hurt me. I just, I don't know. Maybe I still hold it against them for being introduced in uh, Gold and Silver. I was always just thinking, like, think of all the cooler Pokemon I could have added rather than these dorks. And here we are. All right, a level one photo is what we want. There you go, I'll throw that in. You know what I mean? They're taking up space where better Pokemon could be. Yeah, that's true, it's true. There's a lot of great Pokemon for Gold and Silver. Whitney's Mill Tank. Try seven. What do you think? Seven or six? I'm kind of leaning towards seven because of big. Or should we just throw in this junk three star? Ah, let's go with the junk three star. Seven, you think? All right, we'll do it. We'll get a three star later. It'll be better. Um, I like this too. There's sand uh, sandlets in the back, right? I think it should do okay. Let's do seven. I'll pretend he said seven for this one. One stars, two stars. Let's go with that. Nice and full. Lots of Pokemon. We only took one nat too, so there it is. Two star. It's the it getting beamed with an apple. Let's do that one. Go lurk. We'll try it. It's a different camera angle. I didn't take a lot of photos this time. Let's do this. I wonder if the um, nice work. the crystal bloom will appear in the level two version of this of this route. Yeah. Red Gyarados for nice sure. Sizer's a great Pokemon. Love that Sizer. Mm, so spunky. Skarmory. Very scary. Very scary bird. Okay, you know, another four grand, whatever, whatever, no big deal. Mm, nice work. Cool looking Natsu over there. Collecting those points. Yeah, exactly. Flying sheet metal, flying nice work. tetanus wound. Is it? Yeah, just the Skarmory just looks like an animal that would devastate you, just ruin your body. Nice work. Other Pokemon? There's no Pokemon in there. You're blind. 
Umbreon I don't mind as a uh, as a evolution and a dark type of one. I can I can get on I can get on board for that. All right, we're going back. Yeah, so those are sweet. What a what a fun evolution. I know you're coming. Did I manage to get him? Hopefully one of those is good. I wonder if I can make it so that I leave before the Hound Doom arrives. That's not the glowing one, is it? If that's it, I'll be damned. Haha, uh -huh, don't care. <laughs> Photos of injured Pokemon. Oh! Moiburn, come back, I love you. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, I agree there. What are you up to, buddy? What you doing? Yeah, Scyther is the original always angry Pokemon. That and like Do Dotrio. Not Dotrio, Dodrio, I mean to say. Not Dotrio. The three headed bird that's always pissed. Okay, let's try to make this happen. We're gonna try to hit everybody in the entire world. With an apple. Houndoom doesn't even like apple, eh? Houndoom's not about that. He's not about to get taken in by this boring apple nonsense. You've seen it all already. Okay. Who else can we harass? Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the judge. He's waking up his crushing hand. That photo sucks. I admit it. Not as much as that hand do. Uh, <laughs> Natu, I love you. I just barely kept missing that other guy. What's that whooshing sound? Oh yeah, the Golurks fly. I don't know if you remember this part of the lore. It's one of these funny things, right? Where you just like read it in the Pokedex and you don't really think about what it means. <laughs> right? But then you're like, you're like, yeah, no, Golurk has a jetpack. That's canon. That's just part of Part of the world. Yes, they have thrusters. Or flying in formation. Shh. I believe that if we come back enough times, this Golurk is going to be awake.
Okay, hopefully one of those is good. Ooh, you sack hound him. Yeah, like every now and then, like there'll be a Pokedex entry that says something really ridiculous. And then like, How was it? rather than retracting it or trying to like qualify or whatever, they just, the fine folks at the Pokemon company just like dig in and like, yeah, totally. This Pokemon only weighs two pounds. It's not a typo. <laughs> what? All right, we're going. We're going with this three star because it doesn't, doesn't look that bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you look at them, you don't think that that's what that Pokemon's all about, right? But that's what that Pokemon's all about. Flying around on his jet legs, his rocket pants. All right, we're gonna go to the two star just so we have it. Same here. Just get a two star. Just a photo of me wounding a dog. We're gonna have to come back and improve this Noivern situation because we really ruined it. Gee whiz, we really messed that one up. This is a nice sandlet though. We'll go with that. Let's go with one star here for all the aforementioned reasons. I think a 10 maybe. 10 or two, what do you think? Or maybe nine. Nine or two. I'm thinking ten again. Let's go with ten. We'll see what he says. You're thinking ten also? Oh, cool. cool. We have a uh, quorum here. This is literally the same photo. I think mine is just slightly bigger though. Let's try that. Also slightly bigger. Go lurk. Yeah, like, what do you even say? You know what I mean? What do you even say about that? Dude's got jetpack. And it gets. Oh, was this the one? Right at the beginning? I guess you'd expect to see it in the cave for some reason, right? But. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mmm. Mm. Nice work. Okay. Mm. Nice work. Oh, Natu. What a sweetheart. I think Natu and Zatu I didn't really like when they first came out, but the, the design grew on me over the years. It's kind of a fun bird. Nice work. Hound Doom. Still not doing it for me. The puppy I like a little more. I don't know what about those gray tube balloons on its back though. It just seems goofy. The skull on its chest? I don't know, man. A new discovery. Not so much as that too. That's fair. To each That's their fun. own. It's a terrible photo, it's fine. Nice work. This one shouldn't be so bad. Yeah, he's nice and big. It's half the battle, right? We just want the Pokemon big. In this house. Mm. Nice work. Pokemon are big in this house. It's interesting that they've been introducing Sun and Moon Pokemon in these islands, right? Because part of the whole vibe of Pokemon Sun and Moon was that there were certain Pokemon that were like unique to that region of the world, right? Because they evolved separately. But here we are. Here we are. Did the lore mean nothing? Great timing. There you go. More size. More background for some reason. Three more points of background. That's good. We'll take it. Points are points, baby. It's in flight. Nice work. I don't know about it. It's a crappy photo. I get it. We all see flying Golurks every day, so we're just not impressed by these kinds of things anymore. A new discovery. I get it. I get it. No points for pose. 
Everyone's a critic. Everyone's a critic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What are we getting here? A botanist. It's a bloom yellow. Yeah, yeah. The dark trio with the amazing hair. So that's a good so that's a good Pokemon. Alright. He hopes I'm excited. Let's go see what the professor has to say. Oh, baby. <laughs> Another set of amazing ruins. That's right. There's something intriguing about them. They seem to include two distinct types of structures. What's different about them? Asks Rita. If we compare the ruins to the entrance to what we saw deeper inside the cave, we saw that one is magical and glowy. Oh, it seems to be later and possibly in a hurry. Some sort of force field. Yeah. See, there's evidence from energy from all throughout Lentil is converging there. That's what flowers mean. If we can untangle these mysteries, I'm sure we'll find a way forward. That means I finished my work on the other set of aluminum orbs. I'm sure they'll prove to be helpful. All right. Let's do it. I think there's going to be some sort of light Pokemon. Cast your bets. Gold. The golden orb. I guess let's head back and start hucking golden orbs at things. You know what I'm saying? Seems obvious. Doom, 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 doom. Alrighty, what is up? Come here, you dumb dog. Okay, you're not doing it this time? Whatever. Well, there's a million of them now. Hopefully one of those will be good. Now he's, now they're not so aggressive. He's just like, what up? I'm a dog. A waff, a waff, waff. Is that what dogs say? They say waff. They've been pacified. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Waff, I'm a dog. Liver and you're amazing. Oh baby. Shake it. Okay, you're just gonna come hang out with me? That's pretty sick. Do you like apples? No? Okay. Alright, well, we tried. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Hound Doom. I don't happen to Noivern either. Noivern everyone's chilled out. They're like totally, they're just like cool with me being here, all of a sudden. I love Noivern. What a good Pokemon. The hidden sound type. Ooh, Chandelure. Chandelure is the Pokemon Tournament, eh? What a weird choice. I think Chandelure is also like the worst Pokemon in Pokemon, Pokemon Tournament, but hey. Sometimes it'd be due. I'm just gonna get him from here. It'd be amazing if I did. So I imagine our job is to light up all the flowers, yeah? Like that's the video game. Liam shot a Noivern. And it's gonna do the thing for the thing, yeah.
Okay, let's see if that's any good for anybody. Wow, so many shinies. Oh, Chandelier. You are funny. You are ghost. Okay, that's interesting. Where is Flower? Get out of the way. Okay, see we've gotten the Steelix flower. These Glossman folks are hanging out in front of this one. Their hitboxes seem busted, but fine. That could be a good photo. That could be worth a point or two. You up, babe. That's a cute photo. I think there's a flower right behind this Pokemon, right? Oh no, it's, there's one over here. Did I screw this up? Okay, somehow I got that. Let me just get the one in the middle now. Hmm. Something different around this time. This is a gigantic pillar of light, perhaps? Could that be it? Okay, where are we going? The game's just about to dunk us into this uh, pillar of light slowly. All right, well there we go. Looks like the runes have come to life. With Pokemon magic. But who's the who's the sixth one? Each island seems to be flowing upward. Is it Mewtwo? Please be Mewtwo. I honestly have no idea like who it could be. They could do anything. So up we go. I'm gonna go I'll into the Rainbow the Land. The That'd be Ho Oh. Ho-Oh is the rainbow Pokemon, right? We all know that the rainbow goes to Ho-Oh. So the rainbow goes. You're getting beamed up, yeah. You're being warpulated. Clearly. Sigh. More photos of Houndoom. Uh, we try to beat our our one star. Although it's not a bad photo. Let's try that. Let's throw some garbage at the at dude. I feel like we got that's pretty good. There aren't others in the background, but that's you know perfectly centered, almost facing dead on, really big. Unless you think that would be worth more. 10 or 5, what do you think? Maybe even more centered? I think I'm gonna get points for the background in 5. And there's another Pokemon, Elder Gloss, up in the top right, right? So there's gonna be points for background and for, for other Pokemon. Hard to say. I think maybe five though. They're both the same size. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think you're right. I don't know how much he's gonna give me for the ruins and for the other one, but it's more than zero. Let's try five. Just a photo. <laughs> no, Ivern. Oh man. Wow! 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 I think ten, right? 10 seems to be the obvious one. Yeah. Say no more. Let me 
whatever. We'll try it. New chandelier. Suppose I could have got. <laughs> That's a fun one. Let's send that one in. Let's see what he says. Just curious. That could be better. I think this one's a little bigger, eh? Than the previous. Just by a bit. I think the facing here is just about perfect, too, right? Let's try four. Let's try four. This is... Oh, we don't have three star yet. So that's obvious. Send it in. Submitted. Gotta hit that deadline. Bats, 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 bats. Wow, wow. Hey. Yes. Silly little birdie. That's slight improvement. I think this is definitely better photo. Better pose. Almost perfect size. But yeah, plenty of points for the other Pokemon in the background, right? Look at that. Very, very close to five grand. Hard to say what we would have gotten on the other photo, but it's hard to beat that. It's kind of cute anyways. Nah, too. Beep, 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 beep. Nice yeah. It's fine. I'll have to get a better one star. Noivern. Going crazy over here. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. That's a good photo. We're getting so close to busting over that 5,000 point mark. Nice work. It's interesting. I guess it's just the exact wrong direction. It's the problem. I don't know. That's life. That's life, baby. New chandelier. Nice work. Okay, you know. We get in there. It's a funny photo. Okay, I think this is just gonna be barely better. Yeah. Just barely. We'll take it. Every point counts in this doggy dog world of Pokemans. It's yeah, this is a very cute photo. It's a nice little scene. 200 points for pose, eh? Getting robbed. Getting robbed. It's no jetpack. Oh, Professor Mirror. You're dumb. Your photo deck is filling up. We're gonna check on oh, Pokemon you're missing. Photos from now and then. We'll do no such thing, Professor. Ruins. A litter of light. Ah. By the way, makes the progress. He always says that. You always see the same things, Professor. It's like you're reading from a script. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Looks like now's the moment I've been waiting for. If I'm reading the topography correctly, you're going into the sky. Or does it go down? I thought it was gonna go to like a rainbow in, in the heavens. Whoa. So we'll find the Bogoban that was in the middle of the mural, right? Maybe. Yep. Yup. He's pretty convinced. Yep. Do you think it's one of the Reggies? Whatever. Reggie Rock? Already it's just Reggie fils -de He's just hanging out down there. Hi guys, welcome to my new office. I have all the time in the world now that I'm retired as the CEO of Nintendo of America to play Animal Crossing. Take a look at my village. I think I've really spruced the place up a bit. Only going down. I can see in your eyes that you're ready. That's right. the spirit. Good luck out there, kiddo. Chin up. Get your camera ready. Hold that for Voltorb. All right. <sighs> I'm into it. I'm into it. Did you know? Did you know? Oh, it's an Illumina spot. Bum 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 
Bam, 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 bam. Ooh, it's a dead tree. Looks like that's the source of the reading, but it's very faint. This is an upside down trevenant. What is that anyway? Upside down trevenant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, le the least photogenic Pokemon possible. Just a, a red and white ball. Incredible! This reading is off the chart. Is it Pidgey? Oh, that makes sense. Cernius. Yeah, I'm not exactly shocked. Cool. What's up, that baby? The final Illumina Pokemon we've been searching for. Turned into Go a ball and flew away. But we're gonna search them extremely slowly. Yeah, I mean it was it was one of the legendary it's legendary Pokemon for Pokemon uh, X, right? Evelt all was why. Yes, yeah. I do think you're correct. We're gonna hit it with an apple. We're doing the only thing we know how to do. They literally made this as hard as possible. What would happen if you hit that blow with an aluminum I don't know, Professor. Let's try to find out together. Jackass. They're kinda hard to aim. I got it once, I think. Twice. Three times, lady. Four times. Oh, yeah. Hit me with an apple. Whoa, okay. That was an explosion. FPS mode? Exactly. This is an FPS game. I always joke about something like that when playing uh, Monster Hunter with Kanchi. Is that for everybody else it's a sword and sorcery game for me it's a third person shooter i'm basically playing like resident evil can i even get it when it's underwater it doesn't seem like it oh, i got it once i think There's a thing. Wonder if a special thing would have happened if I had hit that. But oh well. We can find out elsewhere. This feels easier than the uh, frickin' Steelix one. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't like that song, if we're being honest. But yeah, we seem to be going through areas themed after the different uh, Pokemon, right? Seems to be like the Steelix area. Could be wrong. But who knows? Oh, we're done. You disappeared. Didn't I? Did I not hit it with enough balls? It literally exploded in light. Oh, Professor, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish you later. I'm gonna unmake you. All your photos suck. Yeah, what an ass. You're gonna have to go back again, Liam, because you're just that bad at camera. I'll try to get one where it's glowing. It's not my fault. 
You don't know how to do Pokemon research. I'm not here to... I'm not here to do that, to compensate for you, Professor. Yeah. Once a slowing pattern appears, that's your cue to start snapping. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Get a luck shot. You might be able to energize Xerneas. Just show me that big Xerneas. Okay, now I need to hit it again. What? Just effed off. Okay, there we go. that count? That didn't count. I'm returning the video game to Blockbuster. Is that one? I assume I have to hit that flower, right? That's the vibe. <laughs> That one in Alaska, still going. Yeah. I think something special probably would have happened if I hit that flower. That's sort of what I'm feeling. Oh, the fluff root. What an era in gaming. Come back. Where are you? <laughs> Come back. Whatever. I guess that by that time you gotta hit it direct. You gotta nail it. Okay. This is different. A little weird like Pokemon. I guess they just added in the green one. It's like whatever, who's counting? There's tons of colors. Why not one more? We accidentally hit it with the Neo one. Just hit and run. I don't know, Professor. I don't know why that segment from the the dash cam is missing. Anything could have happened. Here, take these. I'm a tree again. What just happened? The deer turned into a tree. Duh, come on. Let's talk about it once you're back. <laughs> have you been paying attention? Wow, what a what a tree deer. Okay. But then the, this time there was that prismatic orb. The rainbow colors. Hmm. Let's evaluate some photos. Of the hidden god Pokemon. That's also a tree. Wow, these photos are trash. Let's go Xerneas booty. I'm into it. Wow, Xerneas, the lunar Pokemon of Aurora's Island. I'm amazed you caught this on camera. Nice work. Legendary Pokemon, but yeah. Exactly. Hey, why not? We're in there. Four stars. Four thousand points. So it's that 11, 1500 point pose, right? 
Everybody knows it. Everybody knows that pose. It's famous for it. Brief awakening. By the way, now we've got some aluminum Pokemon info. We've got something to report. Okay. I'll bite. What do you have to say, Professor? What is it this time? Ow. Right? Number five, center of the earth. The mirror was spot on. They made a force field to protect the world. Well. Things really happen the way the mural depicts them. Maybe Xerneas called out all to them for help. So they make a barrier or something to stop the meteorite? Wow. A barrier big enough to cover a whole of Lentil region? I don't know. Yeah. Phil, shut your mouth. Yeah. That'd mean the people who built the ruins long ago helped the Illumina Pokemon too. Not entombed them. Shouldn't Xerneas have awakened long before now? Hmm. Wow. Who knows? I think stopping the Pokemon probably made it really sleepy. <laughs> It's still tired. It's a sleepy Pokemon. So. Okay. What? Also. Who do you think made it? Well. Well. The people of the region who were saved, or uh, the, that Pokemon that has a paintbrush as a tail. Like they, they could have also done it. Why is it that I was able to meet the Illumina Pokemon? What is it about me? Give me your teeth. You guys get it, right? Get what? Of course. <laughs> so obvious. <laughs> Dog. Pokemon like you. Is that the plot? Pikachu. Pikachu. I dig that hairdo it's though. So you idiot. Pokemon can tell when someone really loves them. And they return that love right back. Right? <laughs> that must be from a study I haven't read yet. We have got to get you out of the lab more often. Yeah, come on, dummy. And that's the precise moment they throw a net over top of all those Pokemon and and force them into a crate. There you go. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. We, we shot a Pokemon or two. Totally. It's all about the friends you made along the way. I like that these are my photos, too, right? That's a nice touch. We're literally going down memory lane. Like that time there was a Caterpie. Do you remember that? Those are good times. During the time that we woke up a turtle and it just wanted to go to sleep. Where we were harassing it. Remember that time Evie got gassed? <laughs> that was a good time. A little peep peep having a drink? I'm into it. <laughs> Just gargling salt water. <laughs> Bailey. Meganium or whatever. Bay leaf is a sore throat. But yeah, where's that Zangoose? You meant six Zangoose pick. Mmm, app fill. Yeah, everyone's thirsty in this game. Look at all those VFX artists. That's of a snake, I suppose. Ugh, Quagsire, look at you, buddy. I was one of those people who just credited as Felicia. That's okay. You can get credit as whatever you want. Seven Dreams Incorporated. Sword Cane Studio Limited. Zax Entertainment Incorporated. B Tribe Company Limited. That's how it goes. And Globe Inc. 
Games are not made by a single team anymore, right? They're too complicated. Quackluck Incorporated. Gotron. Ray Dream Studio. Studio RF. Digital Frontier. I remember Beach. Do you remember Beach? Sepia Tone. We were so much younger then. <laughs> Imaging a Digital Escape. Bombas Entertainment. Real time demo animation design. Act Age Incorporated. Inke. Hiroki Hashimoto. Wow. Magikarp. Junichi Exura Jessen. Ah, there's a big whale. The professor's favorite Pokemon is whale. Yeah, I mean, like, game development in 2020, right? Nobody just makes a game anymore. That's a nice photo. Their whole, like, 300-person-plus teams worldwide. <laughs> Flying Scorpion. They're folks of a hundred different disciplines. <laughs> Setting stuff on fire. Is, is, that, is that the second com credit for the Pokemon Company International, or was that the first one just like the Pokemon Company? Thank you for localizing it into English, Tammy and Sean. Guillaume Dillier. Love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eva Rodriguez Garana. Garana, I guess. Oh man, Bang Zoom Entertainment. Look at all these photos. Look at all these Pokemon that are pissed off because they hit them in the face with an apple. Yeah. Huge, just huge team. You know, it would have been localized into like seven or eight languages, probably, right? English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, Korean, Chinese, right? Original Japanese. There's eight right there. Yeah, exactly. As much as this game is about taking photos of Pokemon in their natural, natural habitat, observing their normal behaviors, the game is really more about disturbing animals in their habitats by hucking <laughs> apples at them <laughs> and then splashing whatever the hell's in the inside a glow stick on top of them it is nice how uh, they've sort of broken down the um, different Pokemon in this reel by the by the region you found them in now Oh, Kogunk. Or is that Toxicroak? I forget. I forget. There's a horrible Steelix photo. Phone it in. Whatever. There we go. Look at that. Remember this? One thirty minutes ago? Character voice actors, Rita. Eric Mendez. Eh, powered by Wise. That's right, baby. That's right, baby. Shout us in the chat. To me. <laughs> I was not working for Wise at the time that, uh, at the time, uh, they were working on this game, so I can't claim any credit. <laughs> Zerdy's butt. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, this was, a, this was a great game to, to stream. Very laid back. Very relaxed. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> that was good. 
I wonder if there's much like post game. I'm kind of almost not curious about what post game for this would be like. Just stream, anyways. Pick at it on your own. But I can't. I don't think of this as like a good. You got a hundred percent it on stream kind of game. We're just along for the ride, right? Sure, it's taking us to every corner of Lentil. That never even happened without the three of you. I can't think of enough for all your hard work. The otherwise, they didn't do anything. Professor. Stick around to help. I'm hoping you would. I'm sure your research is just getting oh. started. What's your new idea, Professor? Let me tell you about course scores. There's a system I'd advise to measure how thoroughly you can research a course in a single outing. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Quality counts here, but so does quantity. Try to photograph as many Pokemon That's as you way. can. That's interesting. Sort of like a rush mode, right? And Wasn't there one more piece of good news? Yeah. Yeah. Right? You see? We talked about this. Burst mode. It's a new feature. I had the professor add your research cameras. You turn it on, your camera will take motor photos in quick succession with one press of the shutter. Another thing. You can turn it on and off from the system menu. Just give it a shot. I guess you just hold it. Here was cooled by mentor. Shh, shut your mouth, Phil. No one said you could talk. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Now. Get out there. Pull up that photo, Dex. We didn't get Gyarados. I guess this is the point where it would have been handy for Skarmory. Hey. Oh, I bet you're itching to know. Huh? You're the one who brought it up. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, nice. Right on. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Some more regions to check. Hey, no fair. That's funny. So I guess the question comes is whether or not we, like, go hit up game facts or whatever <laughs> and figure out the way to uh, take photos of, of some of the dudes we missed. Burst mode. Oh. Interesting. Okay. You can't take just one photo. Interesting. That's a choice. You'd think you'd just make it so that like you hold down Thing, right? Never figured out how to get this dude. What's going on there? Interesting. Yeah, you have to go into the menu to switch it. That's weird. Quite honestly. Because like the the real like the way that it works in real life with a real camera is that you would like go into the settings menu and turn that on. But then uh, the camera responds to the length of the shutter press, right? Cuz you know, even though it's like a physical button you hit on your shutter on your camera like a shutter button it's like a digital reading, right? So it just knows that the the shutter's still depressed. And then the thing just goes until, basically until your camera's uh, memory buffer runs up, right? So it depends upon the camera you're using, but at a certain point, it just runs out of memory to store all the photos in while it's processing them. Oh, wow. Keep fly, keep fly, keep fly. Um. Okay. Not sure what happened there. Did Pikachu wake up from a nap and go crazy or something? That was weird. Something's in them holes. Oh. 
Okay. Cute. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess the thing is, is to is to figure out whether or not. Uh, I guess you would really need to plan your shots out, right? Like, you know, there's one coming up of uh, a situation that you have a hard time getting a good photo of, and so you uh, you pop that camera into uh, into the drive mode and go back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. It's funny that I don't have any uh, two star birdie photos. Uh, look at all the starlies, though. That's cute. Eevee. To rubbish. This is like the same as the other one, but probably just marginally better. That sucks. I maybe mean, have a better cutie fly. Yeah. I mean, you can switch back and forth whenever you want. It just takes as much time as it takes to navigate the menu, right? Which is kind of a pain. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, that's probably not better. Let's try that. So yeah, I guess that's the question here, is how motivated am I to uh, Try to get all the secrets. Try to 100% clear. I don't think I'm like 100% done with the game. Any sense? I think I would probably sit down and make myself like a little bit of a checklist of like the three or four things left in the game that I want to try out before putting it down. Because chances are, when I, once I put this game away, I'm probably never gonna play it again. You know what I mean? For being real. Call space bait. Nice Sick. Ever so slightly better. But ever so slightly better enough. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Seeing you at work reminds me of Todd in the old days. Keep it up. Cool. Core score, right? Yeah, some games are definitely like that. Where it's like you enjoy them a bunch, but it's also like, whatever. I had my fun. Let's see if I can beat my core score. Guess you gotta use all your all your photos. I wonder if you get only get one per per Pokemon. I don't know how I get whatever's down there out. The game really wants me to believe that there's something down there, though. I think you get more photo opportunities going this way. Pikachu. Imagine the results you get when you just don't brain the thing immediately. You don't just point blank the Pokemon in the face with an apple. What a thought. <laughs> Is it rubbish down there? Cute. You gotta clean up after yourself, Professor. 
It's garbage Pokemon collecting all of your hosts. Yeah, if you do it that way, you just get more opportunities. Eevee. Hilarious. Crying doesn't pay Eevee. Pikachu, come over here. Sudabuddha, pay attention to me. Please. I'll give you a million dollars. Are you addicted to drugs again? Ugh. So close. I think Pikachu was just screaming over there one day. Eevee like apple. That's what we've learned. Yeah, I don't think I got any, uh, Bunnelby photos from before. Please hit the bunny. There we go. Okay. I think I got one of everything. <laughs> Somebody pissed off. Pokemon in this world. That's nice. That's a nice photo. Yeah, it's funny how like immediately the vibe of the game changes after you've beaten it. But it definitely has all of a sudden has this different energy. Very laid back. How was it? Alrighty. Let's see if we can actually beat anything. I don't think so. Let's try it though. Um, this is essentially the same photos before, but just bigger. So that's good. Make that work. These are pretty, pretty trash. <laughs> Pun intended. Eevee. This is literally the same photo. I think the one I had before was better though. That was weird. I think this is going to be a better two star. So we're going to go with that. Yeah. Every day of the week, Eevee, you can have photos of Eevee getting poisoned. Surprisingly hard to get good Pikachu photos in this in this game. Guess they made you really wanna really wanna try to get them. To hunt for them. We shall try. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win there. I think we probably got a better one star though. What do you think? Five or six? Six, I think, is more centered. Five is better facing. Maybe six. <laughs> number 25. Is that Pikachu's uh, Pokedex number? That's funny. I don't know. Neither of these are very good. Take that one. Caught in the act. Uh, my old two star. Just keep like eating an apple. I love it. We won't beat it, but whatever. We're just throwing stuff in at this point. 
Okay, let's see what he says. Uh, six is centered. Did I pick six? I think I maybe this? picked five. Sorry. Sorry. Better pose. We'll stick with the set, the existing one. Nice work. Those are very close. They're also like the exact same photo. <laughs> Crazy that that cleared 4,000 points. Nice that size though, one point off, one point off. <laughs> what a weirdo. Threats are so weird. Nice work. Literal garbage. Yeah, I agree with that one. It is a funny, po funny. It is a funny photo though. All about size, baby. Nice yeah, that's photo sex. He's gonna hate it. He's like, this Pokemon's not big enough. Get out of my face. Nice work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it. This has gotta be better though. It's just nice way work. bigger. It's just way bigger. Nine points shy of four thousand. Oh well. This photo sucks. Really? Very close. It's all direction. I wonder why he likes the pose so much. Is his Pokemon being assaulted. Maybe he's into that too. Great timing. Oh wow. Why? We're getting robbed on size. These cutie flies are hard to take photos of because they're itty bitty. Nice work. Sure thing. Upgraded to silver. We'll take it. I like the first photo more. <laughs> Pokemon do not love the professor. He's hired you to go assault them. Oh, interesting. The research camp is only at level one right now. That'd be hard to get it to level two. Yeah. Let me say, we crushed our old score. Though. Just killed it. Excellent. I guess that, that the way it scored, it must give you points for every single photo you take. Right, because there's no way we got to two million on the photos that were evaluated. So it must be for every single photo. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh right. Oh right. Yeah, the one under the deck. I wonder if we can see how many. Okay, so there's this new course here, Reef in the Evening. The sunset, I bet, is gonna be quite nice. It's gonna be quite nice. I bet that's gonna be good. I'm curious if we can see how many pages I'm missing from the photo decks. Shut your mouth, fail, no one cares. No one cares. <laughs> Pokemon. I don't think it'll tell me. No, I don't think so. A lot of these Pokemon we only have like one or two of. Interesting. Interesting to think about. Okay, well, you know what? I think I'm good for like one more stream of this. You know what I mean? I think we just go in and we... Try that last level. We try some score attacks. You know what I mean. See what we can get make of ourselves. Maybe look up uh, if there's a way we can get Gyarados. You know what I mean. Just do a little bit. Of, maybe improve the, the this area of the. Uh, you know, maybe we can do a little bit better than this area of the photo decks. You know, just maybe this area of the photo decks could be improved just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, but beyond that, yeah, just, you know, say a nice goodbye. Because, yeah, I'd like to get a, a nice couple photos of my burn in. There's a few Pokemon that I legitimately like that it'd be fun to take a photo or a good photo or two of. Like, this is pathetic. That was fun. Like that one. Um. Yeah, like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of these are kind of trash. Uh. But I think that's I think that's I think that's right. I don't know. I don't know about going to town on this and trying to scour and hundred percent and get perfect photos or everything. Like all these are trash. But um Yeah, I think it's worth doing. I think it's worth worth checking out. Bump up that overall deck score and then uh just I guess I don't know if this makes sense, but I almost feel like, yeah, that's terrible. I almost feel like gratitude that a game like this got a sequel. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure they sold a zillion copies and made a bazillion bucks, right? Um, so I'm not grateful in that sense, but oh yeah, these are terrible. These are also terrible. But like, grateful in that, like, there's creative people out there working on game development teams who pushed this idea and made it happen, right? Because it could have been, you know, just more Pokemon cell phone games and stuff, right? All that mobile content. It's just fine. It's just not for me, right? But yeah, I believe there's a Gyarados. You have to believe, right? That ended up being a nice photo. And then maybe at the end we can go through and we can try to pick the Maybe our top three photos of the entire playthrough. Or maybe we should pick our six. That'd be very that'd be very Pokemon themed. And then we can uh Pavilion. The hardest Pokemon to photograph in the game, I think. We worked hard for this. One star photo, right? I, I think that, that feels about right. What an incredible, incredible creature. Yeah, but that feels right. Coming in, improving the few things that we're not so proud of, taking the opportunity to uh, explore a little bit of the post-game content, and then and then pick our top six. Yeah, we can do Skarmory way better. This is kind of a fun photo, but we can do our, our, our boy Skarmory way better. What a terrifying Pokemon. I'm quite impressed with the number of Pokemon in the game, though. It doesn't feel like they skimped, for sure. Yeah, a lot of these dudes, we just took one photo of. <laughs> low Tad. I have to believe that there's a Ludicolo in this game somewhere. There's a Low Tad. Oh, I didn't realize I only had one photo of Beware. I kept on not taking photos of them because I thought we had a ton. Yeah. Do you Twitter? So can I. Lantern. That's nice for sure. Pokemon Snap definitely gives more creative freedom. Quick game for people who don't want to see. Yeah, totally. You enjoy the Pokemon part of the Pokemon? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just like, do you like Pokemon? Like, the designs? Do you like the creatures? Are they interesting to you? Uh, I'd, I'd hit that. Oh, baby. Um, yeah, wow. We're still going. <laughs> Curse Bloosh. Yeah, we only have one Squirtle photo. And one Blastoise. Like, this is too bad. Okay, yeah. This decided. We're coming back. We're coming back. Our work here is unfinished. Happy vibes. Yeah, all of the Illumina Pokemon we only have one photo of. This is a hideous photo. This is, this is just like video game junk. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. We're gonna. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. Best Kansas starter. Oh, for sure. 
Only right choice. Bulbasaur you're allowed to take if you're doing your second playthrough. Those are the rules. Man, we're still going. I guess we're going back in time here. So we're coming up on the end. Who is the first Pokemon we photographed? Let's find out. Was it Amolga? Was it the terrible Amolga picture? We just crossed over, I think. Yeah, this is our first photo. It's terrible. I want to save it, because it sucks. It's actually not that bad, now that I look at it. Like, for the game it sucks, but as like a photo photo, it has some charm to it, actually. Anyways. Okay, I can leave it there for the evening. But, uh, thanks so much for joining me. Adam, it's a pleasure. And, uh, I guess I'm back tomorrow night playing Secret of Evermore. Avec, uh, Avec Brad, mon ami. It'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. All I get to play is a dog. So many glitches in that game. It's glorious. It's a very silly game. <sighs> okay. Have a great night.